when I entered in the, in the world of drinking wine, I was very curious. So I, I bought very crazy wine, not to have them, but to drink them. All my way of uh, cellaring wine was to drink them. My wines are made to be, to be drunk. You know, at, at one moment I reached a, a, a huge, I had a huge cellar and uh, I said, this is crazy. I will never be able to, to drink all that. And it's then I decided to create the wine dinners in order that people enjoy my wines. We are going to enjoy a gastronomic lunch. And for me, it is very important because the attitude will, will be completely different from a tasting. The philosophy is very simple. The wine is the master and I am the pupil. And the people who give notes to wines, they pretend to be the master and that the wine is a pupil, which for me is pure heresy. Yeah, so there's so much to, to discover in wine. Yeah, yeah. And if you are open-minded, you, you find always something positive. For sure. Another point of my philosophy is to be humble. The more humble you are, the more you will understand the wine. If you pretend to know, you will, you will uh, not receive the message. First thing, you don't judge a wine, you try to understand it. If you are humble, you will understand it. Francois's appreciation for wine is very much one of uh, uh, enjoying the experience and the maturity of wine, rather than just a, a, a critical analysis of the wines themselves. So there's very little mention of uh, judgment. There's no uh, analysis of the grape variety or a combination of uh, uh, one wine against another, or the contrast in one wine against another. He has this uh, exceptional knowledge of old wines, and he has this exceptional talent as well of, of bringing to life what is particular about, uh, about age in wines. Uh, it brings something special that we do not often see uh, in other instances or places. It's very much around the wine and the combination of the food, conviviality and the, uh, the atmosphere.